Hi guys, it's Xenia. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be interesting. I know for a fact I'm going to piss off a lot of people with this video. Basically, today I'm going to be showing you my most hated perfumes i've actually gotten requests to do this video a few times so i know that you guys want it this video is not meant to be offensive as much as i degrade these perfumes in this video that doesn't necessarily mean that if i were to smell them on somebody else that they would smell as horrible as they do on me so if i insult like your favorite perfume of all time then please don't get offended i don't need to be reading over comments that are like oh my god this perfume is amazing you have no idea what you're talking about and blah 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 like i know and there's so many perfumes that i love that people absolutely hate and that doesn't really deter me from wearing them because i will wear them i don't really care like it's up to me like if i like a perfume or not i also do not use the word hate lightly because there's a lot of perfumes in my own collection that i don't necessarily love but i'm holding on to just because i don't hate them and also like scent preferences change over time so if i'm ever like on the fence about a perfume then i usually keep it but most of the time i am very black and white with perfumes like i'll smell it once and that'll be it for me to decide like whether i love it or hate it there's only a few fragrances that fall into like that middle ground but most of the time i'm very sure so i have nine perfumes that i hate that i have in this list i know that that's like a really odd number but i don't really keep track of how many i have it's just when i come across one that i really don't like i like to write it down in my notes so that i don't forget i'm sure that there's a ton more that i hate that i just can't really think of at the top of my head right now but these are just the ones that i have written throughout me smelling these scents so it's the ones that i'm gonna go over but i'm sure i'm gonna do these videos pretty often because there's a lot of perfumes that i don't like i'm also not a perfume snob i do not discriminate i hate perfumes that are super expensive and i hate perfumes that are super cheap and vice versa and i say that because in this list i have like a good mixture of high and low perfumes so anyways without further ado let's get this video started so the very first perfume i absolutely despise and i hated it the first time that i ever smelled it i actually bought this perfume because it was a blind buy i bought it at marshall's and i hated it so much that it was literally gone out of my collection before i even had a chance to show it normally i do perfume hauls on all the perfumes that i get whether i like something or not because i like to tell you guys but that perfume i literally hated it so much that i got rid of it the day that i got it i'm pretty sure i'm like i cannot even look at this perfume i hated it that much and that perfume is kate spade live colorfully now i will be having these pictures of these perfumes right here i don't have any of these perfumes on me except for one that i will show in the end because obviously i either got rid of them or i haven't purchased them i just know from smelling them that i hate them i had pretty high hopes about this one because i had seen it like float around a lot in these like discount stores like marshall's tj maxx ross it's always there i feel like the packaging and everything was kind of drawing me in it's this beautiful like colorful cute little pink bottle it looks very inviting and it looks like it would be sweet and after looking at the notes even the notes kind of come across as if it would be sweet and then i looked up a couple reviews and people were saying it is sweet and if somebody says a perfume is sweet that's all i need to go and buy it because that's my favorite kind of perfume category and i went and bought it i smelled it and i literally wanted to throw up that perfume is a floral bomb there is no sweetness in it there might be sweetness in it but it's so overpowered by all of the florals and i have mentioned to you guys many times that my mom hates sweet perfumes she loves floral perfumes well she mostly likes like floral clean type of perfumes after i had bought it i sprayed it all over me and my mom smelled me she's like whatever perfume you have on smells absolutely disgusting so the fact that even she hates it and the perfume was mostly in her perfume category i was like yeah like that is a no it was way too floral way 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 too mature i will put up the notes right over here so you guys can see and as you can see there's sweet notes in it so it would make you think it would be sweet to some extent i mean there is florals in there but you have coconut you have tahitian vanilla you have amber star anise which is supposed to give off like this licorice -y type scent and literally all i could get out of that perfume is like a really strong 
mature gardenia scent and that's mainly it i didn't get any sweet scent from it i didn't get anything that i liked and it was just way too pungent it's just really bad I already know I'm going to get so much hate on this video. I'm prepared for it. Normally, a lot of people will dislike a lot of the videos that I have where I mention perfumes that I really don't like. And obviously, I'm very vocal with my opinions because I don't really care to piss people off. I think it's really funny pissing people off. So, I mean, if you're going to get pissed off of this video, you might as well just dislike this video already. This is not meant to be offensive anyway. I don't even need to re repeat that because obviously, all of you guys know that. My true supporters, you know that. But we know, we know there's those people that everything bothers them. Anyway, the next scent, this is a very popular scent. So I know for sure some of you will get pissed off by this. This next perfume is Mon Paris by YSL. I have actually, like if you follow my videos, I've mentioned this perfume in a few of my videos. I have actually never owned this, but I'm familiar with it. I'm very, very familiar with it. I used to work at a perfume store, so I'm familiar with a lot of perfumes even ones that I don't own because I've smelled so many. And this is a perfume that ever since the start, and I've always, like, I've always smelled it, even from the first time that I smelled it, and I was like, I hate this. I've always tried to, like, open up to it, but every time I smell it, it's the exact same reaction. Like, I just hate it. It's way too strong of patchouli. Obviously, throughout this video, the reason why I hate all of these scents is just because they don't go into my scent profile, which is Sweet Gourmands. Obviously, a lot of you guys might absolutely hate Sweet Gourmands. So I had really high hopes for Mon Paris. Actually, before I ever smelled this scent, it was on my perfume list because looking at the notes, the way that a lot of people describe it, people say it's a really complimented scent. They love it. People describe it as being really fruity. There's so many amazing fruits in the top notes, which will make you think that it's like this gorgeous, fruity, berry-like fragrance, which I love. Like, I love berries. And that's like my favorite thing ever because it just gives it like that fruit sugary sweetness that i'm like obsessed with but in this perfume specifically in my opinion it is done so bad because there's a lot of patchouli as you can see there's like indonesian patchouli and then there's leaf patchouli and then you have musk and then you have moss and cedar and i feel like all i can smell on the dry down is that maybe you might get a hint of those really bright fruity notes that are at the top and you might only get that for maybe like a split second when you first spray the perfume but when it dries down which is like immediately after that second all i get is a pungent it's just way too pungent of patchouli and when i have mentioned that that i hate this perfume a lot of you guys have agreed with me on that especially those of you that have the same perfume taste as i do a lot of you have agreed with me that it's just like a patchouli scent so if you love patchouli i think you would love this perfume but coming from like a patchouli hater i absolutely hate it because all i get from it is patchouli okay the next scent is actually a scent i was really excited about it's a fairly new scent and it's a flanker of the original and i love the original and this perfume is Carolina Herrera, Very Good Girl. So as soon as it came out, a lot of you guys were commenting on my videos for me to try it because you know that I love the original. And the bottle, everything screamed my name. I thought it was so pretty. It's like this gorgeous red heel. Obviously, we love the original, which is over here. Oh, oh, let me not knock all my perfumes over this is the original which is just like the all black heel and this one is in like this gorgeous red heel it's absolutely beautiful it's stunning it has questionable notes like i feel like even when i saw the notes i was kind of questioning it but knowing that it was a flanker of this one which i love i was giving it the benefit of the doubt and i went and smelled it it is so pungent. There is something. I cannot pinpoint what it is. And I have smelled it more than once. I have like tested it out on my skin. Like I've let it like marinate with my skin. So I'm very like sure that I hate it. And I don't know if it's the lychee in it. The li lychee? Lychee? I don't know how you say that. I don't know if it's that. But there's like this, I don't know, nutty smell. It's almost like a patchouli smell to me but it's like even worse than patchouli i really cannot describe but i hate that perfume and as soon as i smelled it i literally could not understand why anybody liked it because it smelled so pungent to me and so bad that i didn't understand when anybody said that it smelled amazing and i don't 
really see the resemblance to this one. This one smells amazing to me. And yes, this does have patchouli, but it is so beautiful and literally like one of the sexiest perfumes in the world. Men die over this perfume. It is so good. But that one, no, like not at all. I hate it. I hate it so much. I don't know if it's maybe like the combination of the lychee, the rose, and the vetiver. But it's just like a really bad combination of the three. Thank you for all of those that recommended it to me. And um, I was really excited myself. And I thought I would really like it. But it's a definite no for me. I, I, I don't know. There's something that to my nose is just so polarizing and i cannot pinpoint like what it is but i just don't like my this next scent is a scent that i have mentioned so many times on my channel it's a celebrity fragrance so if you watch my videos i'm sure you might be able to guess which one this is and that is fancy from jessica simpson obviously everything about this perfume would make you think that i would love it because as i've said throughout this video i love sweet scents and that perfume is known for being like a caramel sugary sweet scent but there is again there's something about it that i just don't like i feel like i get more of like the dominating florals in there than i do the sweets like i definitely do think that it is sweet but just because i like sweet scents doesn't mean i like all sweet scents looking at the notes it again it has really pretty notes some really nice fruits in the top notes there's caramel almond jasmine which i love vanilla amber sandalwood literally all notes that i love but i think what ruins it for me is gardenia i'm noticing that the common denominator within a lot of these perfumes that i hate is gardenia i am a huge hater of gardenia i just really dislike it especially when it's done bad and i feel like in this perfume again it's just done bad to my nose i i don't know my nose just doesn't like gardenia it's a very mature scent for me and a really really like overly floral type scent that i feel like whenever there's gardenia in a perfume most of the time not all but most of the time it almost like dominates over the other notes or there's just something about the mixture that gardenia just doesn't mix well with other notes or i don't know if maybe gardenia just doesn't mix well with sweet notes like maybe it would go well with florals but to my nose i feel like when there's gardenia and when there's like sweet notes it's like a bad combination i i don't know i just really don't like it and i'm realizing that I feel like gardenia is probably like the common fa factor of why I just don't like a lot of these scents. But yeah, I have owned Fancy in the past. I did get rid of it. Some people have compared it to like Juicy Couture, Gold Couture, which is like a caramel sugary bomb. I love Gold Couture. I don't see the resemblance at all. I think I've mentioned Fancy so many times on my channel that you guys just know by now that I hate it. So I don't feel like I have to explain myself. I know that a lot of you guys love that scent. And you always tell me you get so many compliments on it, but... It's just not for me. All right, the next scent I absolutely despise. This is like a scent that I hate with like a capital H. I absolutely hate this scent. This scent literally made me nauseous, like almost made me want to throw up. This is Michael Kors Sexy Amber. The fact that it's called Sexy Amber <laughs> is so repulsive to me because there is absolutely nothing, not a drop of sexiness in this perfume. I love amber. Do not get me wrong. Amber, I feel like, just gives, like, this sexy sweetness to a lot of perfumes. But I guess having just an amber scent, like, mainly an amber scent, I guess I'm just not a fan of that because I really hate it in this perfume. Like, I strongly hate it. And weirdly enough, there's only three notes in this perfume. Amber, sandalwood, and white flowers. But it's, like, a spicy pretty powdery and i normally don't like powdery scents at all and i feel like this scent is really like overly pungent and very very powdery it's just a really bad perfume in my opinion a lot of you have agreed with me on that because i have mentioned this before in, in one of my videos and i know that i got some comments that said that you also hate the scents but then there's people that are like i get complimented on the scent so much and it's so sexy I mean, the name Sexy Amber. So, I don't know. Maybe it's just my nose that absolutely hates it. But I feel like if anybody were to wear that perfume around me, I would literally have, like, an aversion to it. It's, like, a very old-fashioned, very, 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 very mature smell, at least on my skin. I love Amber. 
but it is way too much amber for me to handle and my stomach to handle like i very rarely obviously i have so many perfumes i wear perfumes every day so i'm used to having a scent on me so i don't always like have aversions to smell or like get nauseous by scents but that is just a scent that i don't like the next scent i feel like is kind of in the same category ish curve crush i don't know what possessed me to buy this perfume but i bought it once i think at ross it was super inexpensive i think it was like 10 bucks i, I literally think i kept it in like the trunk of my car like i didn't even want to get it out and it was so bad it is just such a bad scent it is if you want to smell like armpits that have been sweating all day then sh sure like go ahead and buy that perfume but that's not my sense personally i hate it it's so bad it is so bad it is just so overly musky there's cinnamon in it as well which is such a weird like what kind of a note to be added there's milk in it there's cloves cardamom ginger tea pepper floral citruses i feel like it is such a weird mixture of notes and it smells absolutely repulsive to my nose i absolutely hate it like i don't understand how anybody could like that perfume it is very bad very very bad i'm gonna keep it short on that one because i have nothing to say other than i absolutely hate it on another note very similar to that perfume same vibe is the body shop white musk which i have also mentioned a lot on my channel and how much i absolutely hate it it smells so bad to me that perfume smells like if you were sweaty all day and like you smelled really bad and instead of taking a shower you masked it with like a perfume and then your perfume mixes with like your bo and you just smell 10 times worse that's what that one smells like it smells so bad absolutely repulsive has so many notes which would make you think it's like super complex and amazing but no it's dominated by a really gross musky scent oh god i i can i can already i can already feel the hate comments on this video. all right another one this is a scent that might come as a shock to you guys i've actually been recommended this scent a lot and i hadn't smelled it because i don't have a lush store near me but they do have lush in miami and i'm in miami a lot so i was in miami in one of the malls there and i went into lush and i went into smell lush lust which is a perfume that has a lot of hype around it actually and a lot of people really like it but that is a perfume if you love super strong very oriental very strange unique strong scents you might like it but i did not like it at all it gave me a headache it made me nauseous and i only i literally didn't even spray it on my skin i sprayed it in the air and i guess the particles just like went on me and even just from like that much i could smell it the entire day and i hadn't even sprayed it on me it's that strong so it's definitely long lasting so you got that in that perfume but it was very pungent like so 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 strong very polarizing so i feel like it's an either you love it or hate it type of scent and i just happen to hate it it's a very very controversial scent i appreciate that it's very very unique but it's just not for my nose i i just don't like it maybe my nose is not developed enough to appreciate the scent and a lot of you have recommended it to me because it has jasmine in it a lot of jasmine and so that's why you thought that i would like it but unfortunately i i don't really get jasmine in it it's very like animalic the notes in it are not like to be messed with that is not a perfume for the faint of heart i would put that like almost in the same category as adam levine's perfume um which i got rid of if you saw my last video or my which was it like a couple videos ago i got rid of it because i it was very strong sandalwood type scent and lush lust almost gives me like the same vibe so the very last scent that i have to show you guys i actually have this perfume but unfortunately i will be getting rid of it because i just don't like it this is lalique's amethyst so everything about this perfume screams my name this purple bottle it looks like it would smell so amazing i tried so hard to love this perfume and i thought i was going to love this perfume because the notes in it are so beautiful and you all know i'm obsessed with berries like i love my berry perfumes and this has all berries like it is literally like 
all of the berries are in the top notes of this perfume. This is a perfume where I'm on the fence about because smelling it from the bottle right here, I'm like, I don't hate it. But then I spray it on me and on my skin, it turns very mature smelling and very like, smells like a church, like literally the inside of a church or like a really old wardrobe type smell. Although this has so many berries in it, this doesn't actually smell like the berries like the fruits this smells like the stems of all the berries if you ripped out the stems in strawberries blackberries blueberries mulberry blackcurrant whatever if you took out the fruits you threw away the fruits but you kept all of like the leafy stems of all those fruits that's what this one smells like so don't be fooled by the fact that this has so many berry notes because it's not a berry scent it smells very earthy very leafy very green and I guess that's just why I'm not loving it. I really wish that I did because I love this bottle. Everything about it I love, but my nose just doesn't. This is actually known to be like the number one dupe to Meliora by Perfumes de Marley, which as you know is like a $300 perfume, very expensive. And this is not that expensive. It kind of is like a middle range. So it's not like high hundreds, but it's not going to be like in your low like 20s or 30s. It's like kind of in the middle. You could find this for like 50 bucks. This is just super earthy and leafy for me and not too much of the berries that I wished that it was. So yeah, I I hesitate kind of putting this in this video because I this is the only perfume out of all the perfumes I just shared with you guys that I wouldn't say is like a strong, 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 strong hate. But it's a hate. I don't even want to spray this on my skin because I know I, I will have nausea all day. I think my conclusion on that is that I don't like That is the end of this very controversial video. I'm sure I will have a lot of hate comments in this video. I'm sure I'm going to have a lot of dislikes. I'm prepared for it. I don't care. It's not going to change my opinion. This wasn't supposed to be offensive. So if any of these scents are your favorites and you love to wear them, you think they smell great, but I describe them in a very offensive way, please don't take offense to it because I'm sure there's perfumes in my collection that you absolutely despise. I feel like that's super self-explanatory and I feel like I'm just like a broken record at this point by saying that. And I'm, I know that you guys all know that, but you know, gotta mention it for some people out there. But anyways, that is it for this video. Let me know what you guys think. I'm very interested to read the comments on this video. But let me know your most hated perfume and I will read through all of them and I will see if like maybe that perfume is like my favorite perfume or something. But yeah, please let me know your most hated perfume. I would love to know i think it's so interesting like i don't find offense at all if somebody says that they hate a perfume that i love i hope you like this video please subscribe to my channel and turn your post notifications on and i will see you guys in my next video